Welcome back to Life is Strange. I feel like now is a pretty good time to dig into the diary. And before I didn't actually know how to get into the diary, but it turns out if you just press the back key, there you go. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did in Dreamfall chapters. I think I'll just read a chunk of the diary every once in a while. Don't quite want to read all 12 pages right now, but yeah, let's dig into it. July 10th, 2013. I got accepted into Blackwell Academy. If words could dance, this would be a rave, even though I've never been to one. But who cares, because I got into Blackwell Academy, a unique and famous private school for seniors. No kids allowed. I didn't think I'd be so excited, since it's not like I didn't used to live in the same town. But when I saw the text from the Blackwell Scholarship office, I could literally feel my pulse speed up. I thought it was going to say, Sorry, thanks for playing. It took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy that last moment of blissful ignorance. And when I saw the first word, congratulations, I think I screamed. My mom cried, and my dad laughed. They're so weird. But they're happy. And this means extra financial support because they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell. This means new clothes and, if I can work it, a new laptop. Oh, and I have to keep telling myself in caps that I am going to Blackwell Academy. August 18th, 2013. So this is it. I'm leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Usually people go to the high school closest to home. I suppose I am too, it's just I haven't lived there for five years. And of all the best photography programs in the world, I choose to go to the smallest back in the town I was excited about leaving. Maybe I wanted to come back all along, just to see if Chloe and I are still even friends. But I do wish Chloe could have moved with us to Seattle. That city was made for her. <laughs> we would play pirates in our rooms, and in the woods. It seemed like Seattle was that fabled faraway island of treasure and adventure that we were always seeking with coffee shops. But Seattle wasn't like a fable. Au contraire. I have no idea how to pronounce that, sorry. <laughs> now Blackwell Academy seems more exotic to me than any other place in the world. To study photography under Mark Jefferson. <sighs> Insert heart, hearts and flowers. Plus there will be cool diverse students from everywhere. It won't be like my high school now. I never really found a groove with my classmates. Or boys. I'm lucky I've made, uh, I have a couple of great friends here, but it's time to ship out. So maybe Arcadia Bay will actually turn out to be the island of treasure and adventure I've been looking for. August 25th, 2013. Shit is crazy here. I didn't realize how much crap I had to pack until I had to pack all my crap. Mom and Dad are getting a little too excited. I'm clearing out my room. Though I caught Mom crying when she was packing my shirts. That made me want to cry like a little girl. And never leave Seattle. So instead of packing, I feel like burning all my clothes, then just raiding a thrift store to build up a new Max wardrobe over my junior year. Not that I even have an old Max wardrobe. Nobody will know me except for Chloe, and who knows how different we are now. So I can cut my hair, get a tat and some piercings, maybe date a cute foreign exchange artist artiste from Paris or Rome. I can do anything. Unless I get busted. And there will be so many super cool chances for my photography to get exposed. Thinking about that is when I get scared, but excited. And then I don't feel like crying at all. I get tingles down my arms, sensing the universe opening up for me. I can't wait to leave. I just want things to be... different at Blackwell. September 2nd, 2013. My first entry for my new dorm room the night before my first day at Blackwell. Whew. I haven't had any time to write or even take pictures since I got here. My shit is in boxes all over the room, which is small, but mine. And I never want to leave. I can't wait to decorate. I plan a whole wall of photos. I did meet some of my dorm mates, though I suck at remembering names, so I won't bother right now. But I think I can already see who's going to be cool to me and who's not. It's a bitch trying to get settled into a new school and social scene after I finally found good friends in Seattle. But I'm here now, and this is the start of my new life. Sweet dreams. September 3rd. Blackwell sucks ass. I told myself not to whine so much, but damn. The day started like Christmas morning. 
I barely had any dreams because I was so pumped to start my first official day of my new life. Like a dork, I couldn't figure out what to wear, so I chose what was on the floor. I'm no good with names and faces right away, but I picked up some names like... Kate, Brooke, Taylor, Alyssa. And how could I forget Victoria Chase? Rich, stylish, entitled. I could feel instant judgment when she looked at my raggedy-ass clothes. And if I'm at Blackwell to strike fashion poses... Maybe I'm being extra... Uh, as if I'm at Blackwell to strike fashion poses. Maybe I'm being extra crispy sensitive, but I think Victoria wants life here to be like her own reality show. Ugh. So that wasn't fun, along with my general social unease. I thought it would be easier being back. Call the wambulins! I don't want this day to end all. Woe is Max! It was incredible to walk across the green campus in the morning mist. I love the stone steps and brick walls of Blackwell. Everything is a picture waiting to be taken. Speaking of, at least one great thing did happen today. Mr. Jefferson's photography class. <sighs> There's more to tell, but journal, forgive me. I'm truly wiped out. September 4th. I have an assload of homework already. So much bullshit. At least give us noobs a day to acclimate. But to prove I'm not a total loser, I made a new friend in my science class. His name is Warren Graham, and he's a serious geek. Plus, he's dark and witty. He comes across as kind of a know-it-all, but it turns out he does kind of know a lot. We talked about photographers, and he actually named a few I'd never heard of. We traded numbers, and he'll be a good study partner. Or a good friend. I'll need at least one based on the clique action here. I thought being 18 meant I didn't have to deal with his teenage drama anymore. I thought. At least I get to research famous photographers for some of my homework. Mr. Jefferson assigned us a ton of reading, but this is exactly what I want to study. Jefferson is super cool and super chill. He doesn't try to be too hip. He says what he thinks and expects us to as well. I think he's a genius. Oh my god, I want to marry him! Just joking. This one class is worth all the social dysfunction. September 15th. Homework is kicking my ass. I bet the teachers grade harder just to stop you from feeling special. But Victoria Chase and her snob minions still front like they're honored guests of Blackwell. The bros here aren't that different. Nathan Prescott is Victoria's male clone. With way more money and attitude, if that's even possible. His family's the oldest in Arcadia Bay, and I heard stories about them when I was a kid. The Prescotts give a shitload of bank to Blackwell, so Nathan acts like he literally owns the school. Yesterday during class, he put his feet on the desk, started texting, and the teacher didn't say Jack. I'd get suspended, but him and Victoria are part of this silly elite Vortex Club that puts on popular parties, and so they get their way. It's good to be the king and queen. I don't want to slam everybody. I do like Kate Marsh. She's down the hall and in one of my classes. She's so pretty and sweet and friendly. It makes her more beautiful than the... Bitches here like Victoria who think beauty is just your face and outfit. See? I'm already playing their drama games. No more. Alright, there's about half the journal. Let's leave it at that. Let's take a look at what else is here. It's a lot of really cool stuff, so... Little, like, biographies on everybody. Max Caulfield, I th Or, Caul Caulfield. Wants to be a photographer. I'm guessing I've pretty much picked up on most of this information here. Just from everything that's happened so far. Um, oh, some of this is actually kind of new. So for some reason I was always drawn to old analog camera gear rather than digital tech. I love all kinds of styles and techniques. But for me, the instant camera selfie is the one I love most. I don't care if people make fun of me or not. I'm in great company, right? And now I've come all the way back to my childhood home to study photography at Blackwell Academy. Private school for 12th grade seniors. On a scholarship, even. I originally left behind Chloe, my best friend forever. At least until I left without talking to her once in five years. And it feels so weird to be back here without seeing her yet. So I'm 18 now, an official adult, even though I don't always feel so wise or mature. And I'm ready to begin a whole new life here with a retro camera at my side. Mr. Jefferson! Not only is Mark Jefferson one of my best, is one of the best f photographers in the world, he's also my teacher. And he's one of the reasons I wanted to come to Blackwell. 
How often do you get to be mentored by one of your inspirations? I've always loved his deco and goth style, and he's so versatile with all of his incredible print and advertising work. Still, Jefferson can be a bit condescending. He's pretty hip for his age, but kind of aloof and sometimes pretentious. He always... he has this smug smile when he thinks he's right. But I do think he's preparing us for how tough it is to be a full-time artist. He acts like he understands my own work and obsession with analog images. He really wants me to enter a photo in this everyday hero contest, but I've done a good job of avoiding that. The winner gets to fly to San Francisco to represent Blackwell Academy and, and get national exposure. I'd like to think my work could be good enough to win, and I'm honored Jefferson even bugs me about the contest. Alright, who else is here? I kind of know... I think I know enough about Nathan. Comes from a rich family, he's a douchebag, he's in the Vortex Club. He was the guy with a gun. Uh... Yeah. Nothing new there. David... Oh, he was the security guard, right? Yeah. Whoa, I swear that security guard is the biggest ass here. And that's saying a lot. He always treats everybody like they've committed a crime or they're about to commit one. He grilled me in the hall today and I thought he was going to arrest me. Don't know much about him, but I heard he was kicked out of the army or something. That would not surprise me. Of course he would end up at Blackwell Academy in charge of security. Aren't you supposed to feel, oh, I don't know, secure on campus? Bro dude swaggers everywhere with that badge and gun like he's looking to tase somebody. He would make a good photo portrait of authority, though. Who does a guy like that marry? I feel sorry for his family. It would be like living in a barracks. Ugh. Just another person I have to avoid at Blackwell. Collect them all. Victoria, kind of already know about. What about the principal, though? I don't know much about him. Principal Wells. Very suspicious. So it looks like this kind of sums up my interactions with him so far. Alright. The guy kind of already know that stuff. Alright, I think I'm good on that stuff. What else is here? What is what is this? Oh, these are the photographs that I've taken. Which at the moment is only one. Okay. And this is like locations. Oh, text, right, so I already read that one. Yes, have a very special 18th birthday. Kate, what's going on? What's going on here? Max, you around? Always, you okay? Do you want to get tea later today? Absolutely, I'll be free after four. Fascinating. Happy birthday, Maxine. We can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. Want me for coffee after school? Need an excuse not to study. Make sure you check out Necromantic on my flash drive. Hey, <laughs> Mad Max, let's bust shit up. <laughs> Wait, I have to study for a physics test. So, if we bust anything, we also have to measure its velocity. <laughs> Don't ignore this message. Oh, Max never replied. And these were sent over a period of days. Two, three, five... Hmm. Isn't Warren her friend? Didn't she mention somewhere that... Oh no, wrong, wrong button. Uh, I thought she said she meant met Warren. Isn't that the super smart guy? I don't know where it said it. It was somewhere. Anyway. I love how detailed the journal is. It's really nice. It just feels very real. Like, that feels like something that somebody actually might have written in their journal. It's very cool. And all the small details in there, too. Like all the stickers and paintings and splotches and whatnot. Very cool. Miss Grant, hello. I don't know who you are. Miss Grant sure is dedicated to that petition. Huh. What do you want me to sign? I'll sign it. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition. But would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? You can actually say no. Of course I'll hear you out. Come on. What is it? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Hell no! Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. 
Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. Could have helped Rachel. That's true, but no. That's crazy. I get why school should be on high alert these days, but cameras in the dorm rooms... It's a slippery slope. And it's up to you and your classmates to stand up here. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage. From the Native Americans who founded this land, to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Not quite sure why you'd bring up the Native Americans. Is that relevant? I, I don't know. Does, it, does any of that matter? It's really old history. Black, but, you know, I want to dig into this. Because remember, when I first started, the uh, the vision I had, or whatever you want to call it, I think it said 1910. Blackwell, 1910. So, Blackwell's that old? Blackwell is that old? That's incredible. You should learn a little history about your alma mater. You'll find some fascinating facts. There's a lot of power in this region. I think it helps the creative juices flow around here. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Hell yeah! Absolutely. Oh. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. This action will have consequences. Clementine will remember that. I do actually want to know more about the history of this place. And you said this place has... what, has power? Maybe I dug up like an ancient Indian Nat or Native American burial ground and unleashed the power to go back in time. That totally makes sense. Yep, I think I have the story figured out. Posters over posters? Somebody really wants to find Rachel Amber. I would so be there if a Sasquatch actually did battle a Razorback. <laughs> oh my god, look at the top right one. Best sauce in Arcadia Bay. Look at the face of that woman. She looks like she's t staring at, like, death himself. Wait, what's that say? Blackwell Field, come as Bigfoot, win a prize, come as a Razorback, you're bacon. There's Hayden in his Vortex Club harem. He sure is living the dream. Hey, Hayden. There she is! The retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell. Especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. Well, you seem to represent the Vortex Club in all of its douchiness. What the hell is the Vortex Club, anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night, then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. Uh, no. I don't think so. I'm not... Miss Party. That's because you haven't partied with us. Or even Victoria, who's pretty funny when she's baked. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us, too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh, yeah, and she was hot. Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. What do you think happened to her? Um, 
Uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace? Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. Fun to hang with? Until he shoots somebody. He seems genuinely unstable to me. Nate has his extreme moments, but don't we all? I don't know yet, Hayden. Let's talk later, Hayden. Bye, Max. No, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. That's a straight-A student right there. Ooh, lots of writing. <laughs> you guys are retarded. How eloquent. Please go ahead and kill me. This day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason. And I have to find out why. That's really nice. I love that. So you can just sit down and kind of get all introspective. Ooh. Text message. Can you get my flash drive? I need some info in space. Sorry, running late. Insane day. Meet you in the lot. Looking cool. You'll see. My camera will be ready. See you shortly. Okay, so he's in the lot. The parking okay, lot? Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Oh, right. I suppose you should actually grab the flash drive. Eh, he can wait. Squirrel! He's not even afraid of me. Stella always looks so serious and dedicated. Good for her. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? Oh my god, he is. He's amazing. I want to marry him. I mean, um... Uh, yeah. I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher. And I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Screw the East Coast elite. It must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. Plus, he is pretty hot for an older guy. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. <laughs> make a move? Good luck with that. Victoria is pretty obvious. I don't think Jefferson is into her. I don't think she's closed the deal, but she's not the only player. Now, how do you know this? You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. What? Well, I heard that from a good source. Well, that puts him right at the center. On the... Well, not in the center, but at the top of the suspicion list. Because Rachel's missing. And obviously having sex with a student is something you wouldn't want to get out, because it would horribly endanger your job. Hmm. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. 
I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clique. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. Interesting. Mr. Jefferson has such a gift for different styles. So, is all of this his work? That's so cool that Blackwell is doing a show of Mr. Jefferson's work. Oh yeah, it is. That's one of his famous shots. I love how it captures the moment. Daniel is always drawing something. He makes me look like an extrovert. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. Sure. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. Hmm? Now you're at the top of the suspicion list. Did you murder her? You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait. Oh, she was a natural. So what happened to her? There's gotta be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. Okay, why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way, you're a good substitute muse. Oh, that's a good posture. Good. Good. Best portrait ever. This action will have consequences. I'm trying to imagine what the consequences of that would be. I have no idea. I could go back in time and reverse my decision and tell him to F off. Don't dare sketch me, my face is too precious. Two hundred dollars, if you wish to gaze upon me. I bet the Blackwell founders would shit cats if they saw today's student body walking <laughs> around like zombies on their phones. <laughs> shit cats. <laughs> What are you doing playing some game? What do you got in there? What is that? Let me see. I think it's a game. I'm not sure. Brooke actually has a drone. Oh, she's the one controlling the drone. Where's that thing? There it is. That actually really makes sense, to use the, um, the, uh, what's it called, like the gyroscopic sensors inside of a, a tablet to control a drone. That actually would probably be a very intuitive control scheme, compared to thumbsticks or something like that. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Mmm... I... Wasn't actually thinking about that until you mentioned it, but now that you did, yes. I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny, 
Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Okay, well, you're a piece of shit. Wait a minute, I can search her bag? Uh... I'm almost sure Warren has the same bag. It looks a bit nerdy, though. I mean, I guess there's no real consequence for searching it, because if she finds out or something bad happens, I could always just rewind time. I can always do this. So, sure. What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. Okay, so maybe she'll think I'm smart enough. Yes. Is this from before I talked to her? I'm not sure. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. It you is. want to fly my drone? Hey, I know all about that. That looks like a high fly drone. Model B400 EVO. Now, that's a nice piece of tech. You're full of surprises. Why would you know that? I love aerial photography. Drones are perfect for that, especially those with great range. It's a new era of images. Most impressive, Max. Warren said you were multifaceted. Here, give the drone a whirl around campus. Can I actually control it? I don't think I can. Uh, no, I can't. That's really cool looking. I love the effects that they've, they've applied to the screen like that. The fish eye and all that stuff. Looks really cool. Whoa. That's a dangerous maneuver. I could easily, like, break the, uh... Break the blades on that thing going so close to that. Okay, I should probably go to my dorm. There's a sign here telling me where to go. Where was it? Ah, oh, here we go. Dormitory, this way. I think his name is Evan. He always looks so intense. Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. I'd love to see his photos in there. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Oh, you want me to actually answer? I have no idea. I don't even know what that photograph is. Falling soldier. I, I don't even know what that is. Uh... Chuck Norris? Isn't it Robert Dornell? Oh my. You can't even tell the difference between street photography and photojournalism. No portfolio peak for you. Well, guess what I can do? Hey, Evan. Mind if- Let's see if you're worthy of it, Matt. Eugene? Gotta be Eugene Smith. Well, they both were famous war photographer images. But, you should know the difference. Good try. Wrong answer. Third time's the charm. Hey, Evan. Let's see if you- Uh... Steve McCurry? Unless he could travel back in time. McCurry was born five years after the falling soldier picture. Some people McCurry start young. McCurry also shoots in color. In other words, no portfolio. Hey, Ep. Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. 
You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. I'm not sure if he's annoying or kind of funny. I can't tell. But I've passed his silly little quest. Hmm. So he took photos of Rachel. Or drawings, whatever those are. I'm not... Are those photos or drawings? It's hard to tell. They look like drawings, but it might just be stylization. Hi, Evan. As you can see, Rachel Amber was my favorite model here. She knew exactly what angles worked best with my eye. What was she like? She was like Mercurial. You know what that means. Of course I do, you snob. I know, I can be a little diva. What do you think happened to her? Nothing good, Max. Nothing good. Well, in terms of suspicion, Mr. Jefferson is definitely still at the top of the list. Because it sounds like he slept with her. Possibly. Just kind of second or third hand knowledge there, so... Definitely not for sure, but that definitely puts him at the top of the list. Because it seems like almost everybody knew her to some degree, uh, personally. Whether it be sketching her, or taking photographs of her, or something like that. But he is definitely the most suspicious, Mr. Jefferson. I need to go there and grab Warren's flash drive. Come on, Logan, bring it, brah. Oh my god. Bruh. Yeah! Yeah, yeah bruh. Let's go grab some Zaha at I the need cafeteria. To go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. I always get a little giddy when I think about having my own room here. Can I, like, grab the ball and just awesome. pierce it with a knife? Ruin their day? Hey, Logan Robertson. All-American asshole. <laughs> no, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. I'm not your bro, bro. <laughs> yeah. Don't throw that ball. Hell no. I said don't throw that ball. Nope. You're never gonna get through it. Stop. Stop. I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. Oh. Hi, Max. How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon oh, I'll be bonding with Victoria you. at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading chiclet. Good point. Now, if you'll excuse me. She seems cheerful. Just... Oh god, there's Victoria. Are they gonna make comments about me as I pass by? Ha nice, <laughs> ha, there goes the poor girl. Oh shit, there's Victoria and her mean girls. Should I speak to her? <laughs> sure, why not? I can rewind time if things don't go my way. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. No. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. Yeah. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Why don't I just walk over her? Like, literally. If she's in my way, why don't I just literally step on her to get to the door? That sounds like fun. I 
I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. Maybe I can get them all wet with the sprinklers? There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. That animation work is really good. Look at that. Awesome. It's kind of strange that I'm just walking... <laughs> I'm just looking at a dude going up a ladder, but seriously, that animation work is really good. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Or I could make that can of paint fall all over their faces or something. Nice, bro. Hmm. Could I not talk to you? Oh my god, she seems completely out of it. Look at her. Sweet! Whoa. I need to figure this out. Oh, do I... Oh, I have to rewind because I guess the moment passed. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Sweet. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Okay. How do I use it? Doesn't say I can use it. It just says look. And can I do something with the paint? I could crank the sprinkler up oh, and give Victoria and her clones go. incentive to beat it. Or I could tamper it. Um, no, if I spill paint everywhere, that's kind of, that's going to be like a permanent thing. Like, that's going to be a big mess to clean up, whereas if I just get them wet, that's not a, not a big deal. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Oh god, they're still there. Now do I have to tamper with the paint? He's like right there, isn't he gonna see? He's right there. Okay, let's see if this works. <laughs> He's literally like two feet from me. Awesome. Oh, dude. Uh, uh. No way! No <laughs> fucking way! Okay, Victoria? Oh, Samuel, we're sorry. <laughs> wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Yeah. How you doing, Victoria? Oh, that sucks. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I'm not gonna make fun of her. I'm not gonna stoop to her level. Although it is kind of funny. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. No. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. No. 
You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. Yeah, I don't trust her for a second. It seemed like she was being genuine, but eh. Welcome to Black Hill. Alright, so I'm in 219. Blackwell isn't that big, but it sure feels like a labyrinth. It's going to be pissed we took so long. Reward. Reward for what? On September 16th, my backpack with all my school books and my new tablet were taken from the cafeteria. Oh. Aww. To the bitch that stole my Franju New Face Creme. That was expensive shit and I need it for my acne. I know exactly how it exfoliates and I'll be watching your skin the second it clears up. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know why that's so funny. Like, how petty can you get to steal cream to clear up your acne? And then anyone whose acne suddenly goes away is now obviously the one who did the crime. <laughs> Do you know how to really get rid of acne? Permanently? Dip your face in a vat of acid. Your acne goes away. And all of your skin. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. <laughs> Red rum. Wait, who's in 217? Welcome to Black Hill. Stella Hill. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. As if. Dane is still a cheerleader at heart. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. What the hell? Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. Be alert on campus. Always be aware of your location, etc., etc. Blackwellacademy.ed Is that a real domain? .ed? I thought it was just .edu. Shower's open. Kinda. At least that's an alarm from this century. <laughs> Will bang for Jesus? What the hell? Okay, this is just mean and stupid. Yeah, get rid of that crap. Peace. Consequences. Hopefully good consequences. Also, I totally forgot my room number. Was it 219? This is like the public DNA of our dorm. Yep, tutors, lost things. Oh yeah, 219. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Oh. 
Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Man, I love it. I love in games when you get to explore a character's house or dorm or apartment. Just any place where they live. I've said it many times and I'll continue to say it. It's just awesome. There's so much you can learn about people and it's just so interesting just to look at every little thing. A random box of cookies, what clothes they have. Just, it's incredibly interesting. But this episode is running on... It's approaching an hour, so I think I should end it here. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And I'll be back soon.